Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at iSpring. For those who are not familiar with iSpring, it's a quiz and presentation creator. It's also available as a plugin for PowerPoint so to enable you to add questions directly to your PowerPoint. I hope to do a video on using the PowerPoint plugin in the next few weeks, so keep uh, checking on the channel and hopefully you'll see that video. But today we're going to focus on the browser-based version of that and that's really useful for those of you like me who own a Mac iSpring is currently only available on the PC version as a plugin for PowerPoint. So uh, if you've got a Mac like me, then you'll be after iSpring Space, which has all the features of iSpring, but you use it separately as opposed to using it as a plugin within PowerPoint. So let's dive in. So log in, having logged in, you've got various uh, menus down the left hand side. We've got recent, obviously, projects you've just worked on, starred, things that you, you want to flag, things that have been shared with you. And then you've got this section of projects where you can create new projects. So I've got a project I've created here. Having done that, you've got the ability to upload stuff. You've got the ability to click create. Uh, and if we click create, you can see we've got a choice of page or quiz. So if you want a presentation that has both uh, information and a quiz, then go with the page. If you just want a quiz type of setup, then choose quiz on its own. So let's go in and look at what I've started creating here. So we'll click on that one to open it up. So down the left hand side, we've got our chapters. Think of our chapters as sections within your activity. Um, if we look to, we can see who's, who's editing it. We can add additional people to share with people. If we click on the cog, we can look at the settings and see um, whether we want to restrict the access. So, um, users have to complete the activity before they're allowed to move on or we, whether we allow them to move around in, in any order they want. So you've got a bit of options there. Just really useful if you want um, students to have to go through in a particular order uh, and you need them to complete something before they move on to the next thing. So you've got chapter numbering and various options there. So that's that. Let's jump back then. So having clicked on plus to add a chapter, we, we get a basic page. So I've created an introduction page. And when you click on the page, you've got text. So we double click on the text. You can see we've got the option to alter the size as you'd expect, change the color, the orientation, uh, add links, and also bold, italicize it and underline text there. And when you click further down the page, you can add a variety of things. So we can add additional text. We can add a header. We can add quotes. We can add a bulleted list, an ordered list. We can add, load, add an image, a video. We can embed some content. We can add an attachment or we can create an exercise. So they're the things that we can do. So, so far I've added a question. So I've uploaded an image for this question and that's a multiple choice. Um, to edit the thing, we just click edit and we've got the option to add additional text, add an image choose which is the correct answer and also decide whether we want to give feedback. So really nice, fully featured um, example of creating a quiz. So let's go through and add an additional question. So I'm going to come down to question two, similar sort of thing. So we'll click plus and that gives you a basic page. You can add your title. So I'm just going to be very dull and click question three. And then if you come on the plus, you can then come down and we're going to go with exercise. So that gives us a multiple choice question. So same format, name the car. And you can see that I have my Grammarly extension working. So that's working there for me. And that's useful that it works within within iSpring. And then I can add a picture or a video. So we can click on there, uh, upload an image. And I can search my device and upload an image. And then I can add my answers. So I'll make the last one the correct one. And just get rid of all of those bits. Uh... 
So uh, you can then choose to have some uh, feedback if you wish and done. Now you can have add additional questions. I've just done one question per chapter, but you could add additional questions. Click done. Crack that. So we'll just go back and edit that again and just crack that. There we go, and done. So now we've got our questions. And you can move the order by going up, by clicking on the three dots to the right hand side and moving up and down. And you can also delete duplicate question types. So we've got an introduction, we've got our question types. Um, let's try and share that now. So if we click on the export we've got a really useful feature we can export it as a score so we can export it there and you can choose export to all so great way of creating content really simply that you can then add up to your VLE whether that be Moodle or canvas or we can just choose share uh, make it public access and we can copy a link or add an embed code so they have a really quick and easy way just to show you what it looks like. So we'll copy the link and paste it, oh, paste it. So this is what it looks like. Nice clean layout. I love the fact you've got a percentage bar there so they can see how far they've progressed. Uh, nice clear description and uh, submit. And it gives the feedback or they can try again. We can then scroll down and keep navigating through our quiz. And finally, final question. We'll get this one wrong. Uh, there you go. So uh, a really useful way of creating SCORMs. As I say, I'll look to do a video on using the iSpring plugin for PowerPoint, but for the moment, this is the browser-based version, which is great for those of us who use a Mac or who use a Chromebook. So I really hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.